What's up guys, Trandosh from Bricks here. Today, I have a pretty cool mock for you. This is a little Star Wars speeder mock that I made when I was bored. I don't actually technically own this mock or any of the pieces on it, except for the figure, of course, but I'll explain that in a little while. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's just, you know, sand green. It's just like, you know, just your average Star Wars speeder. But first, I want to show you this back here that you might have noticed. My background looks a little different today. And this is, of course, an AAT box. I just wanted to show it off because, uh, I mean, I've already built the set, but I'm so happy I finally got it. It just, yeah, it took me a while. I still don't have my 501st Battle Pack, but uh, I'm sure I'll find it around soon. Anyway, just wanted to point that out. Video about that will probably be coming out soon. Anyway, uh, yeah, some focus on the speeder. Like I said, I don't actually own this. It's actually owned by um, Brick Lab, which is a cool store in my community where you can do makerspace stuff and like build your own sets and mocks and even buy them. I didn't buy this. I'm actually just um, borrowing it. And yeah, I'll explain more at the end of the video, but yeah. Anyway, let's start getting into the details. As you can see, it's not that long. It's about as long. I'll compare it to some other speeders later, but yeah, it's not too big. Fits like one figure. Um, yeah, it just has a lot of little nice details. Just give me a quick 360. You can see somewhat of all the different details. Yeah, it's very interesting. Not very alien looking, I would say. Just like a generic Star Wars speeder. Start at the front and move back. Starting at the front, this is kind of just based off kind of like the bark speeders. Kind of started, you know, it's too wide, studs wide. You have these little stabilizers on the side, which are pretty cool. You can get a closer look at those. And then there's just little detailings, you know, kind of just making it, you know, thin and at the top, kind of like thicker at the bottom. Just, you know, all those little like intake details as well. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. Here's like the passenger area where you could have one rider and these really long, um, what do you call it, like control sticks? I don't know, whatever they're called. Anyway, yeah. You can uh, see they're made up of some like small detail gun piece and stuff. Here you can see that there's like a little dial. You got a windshield and yeah, the seat pretty easy. You have some studs there. Yeah, I really like the look at this area. This area back here, um, you know, kind of streamlined. Not, it's kind of blocky too though. You can see the bottom, pretty simple. It's held together pretty well. It's pretty sturdy overall. And yeah, looking more at the back, we can start to see some of the engine pods, which have some cool details. I really like these engines that I made because as you can see, they actually have like two little engine nozzles for a total of like four thrusters, which I really like how that detail out because I just wanted to make the engines look different on this thing than other speeders. And yeah, they have little like fins on the side and a whole bunch of little intake grill details. And yeah, that's basically engines and that's basically it from head to toe. So yeah, pretty nice speeder, I think. And yeah, really like it a lot. Anyway, comparing it to some other stuff. Here it is next to a slightly modified clone bark speeder. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can see they're pretty much the same size. It's actually a little smaller and not as, you know, blocky and stuff, I think. And yeah, that's basically that. And then if I compare it to another set that's been also slightly modified, a bounty hunter speeder. Yeah, obviously it's a lot bigger, that bounty hunter speeder. I don't know if it's a real type, but um, anyway, yeah, looks pretty nice. And you can kind of get a feel for the scale of this thing. All right, basically just finish out the video. I'm going to put the sig pick back on there so you guys can see what it looks like with a figure on it. And yeah, this thing was a lot of fun to build. Really cool. Also, just wanted to thank y'all so real fast. Just so much for uh, 75 subscribers. That's really awesome. Hopefully, I'll have, um, you know, a video about, up about that soon. And yeah, it's really cool. I'm um, really liking that a lot. And yeah, this YouTube's just really grown fast. As you can see, it looks pretty nice to figure. Um, they can't really grab onto the handlebars, but that's okay. It looks it looks fine if you pose them right. And like I said, this thing I built at BrickLab, and I'm just borrowing it because I'm a member. And yeah, you can actually buy it at BrickLab. I know most of you guys probably can't go but to that place but because it's in uh, Frisco, Texas. But yeah, here you go. You can see it on the display shelf. Anyway, have an awesome day, guys.